can you see my gen area i have to say the concealer and the color corrector 10 on 10 assalamu alaikum and hello everyone how is everyone doing if you are new to my channel welcome my name is aisha and my channel is all about makeup in today's video i am testing out products from elf elf is a major cosmetic brand affordable makeup brand from usa but it's not readily available in the gulf state so if you want to know where i got these products from and whether if it is worth buying them from where i got them from then keep watching this video but 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 before we start the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel now first things first primer this is a poreless putty primer and i have been using it for a couple of months now and it is so amazing it actually minimizes my pores if you can see on this side of my face i have pores here i have pores on this side so what this does is actually it reduces the appearance of the pores on my face and i am in love with this primer next i'm using this uh, instant lift brow pencil uh, let's see how it is Okay, the tip is fine. Let's see if it actually does a good job. The pencil that I have been using before is from Catrice Cosmetics, and I am a fan of that eyebrow pencil. But let's see if this can replace that. Okay, it is not bad at all. With its fine tip, can you see the fine tip? It is giving me very brush-like strokes. I like that. Can you see my eyebrows? Wow, it wasn't a struggle at all. This pencil, it's great. It's good. And for the price I got it for, it's good. It's Unfortunately, I did not find an eyeshadow base on the page that I ordered the cosmetics for from. From, from, from. But I found this uh, Cameo concealer. So let's use a concealer. That's the base. The color looks a bit... Dark. No, it's perfect. No, it's perfect. It's my shade. Oh, it's my shade. Mm, I am going to carve my eyebrows with it as well. Just blend everything out. Okay, the concealer did a good job on my eyes. But I will not give the final verdict for the concealer till I try it under my chin. Not before that. The powder is a bit lighter than me. Looks like a translucent powder. It's a prime and stay finishing powder sheer. It's a bit lighter, but it's a finishing powder. Are finishing powders supposed to be white? These days, there are so many powder forms in the market. It's exhausting to remember everything, I swear. This is a finishing powder. Just using it to set everything. Okay, looks a bit white. Obviously, I was expecting white. Green is my color. And this eyeshadow palette is the most cutest palette. Can you see how small and how cute this is? It is called a mini melt eyeshadow meant to be. I'm using this brush today. Mm, so, I am taking the lightest shade, which is this one. I am going all over my crease area. The lightest color. Disappointing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Am I doing something wrong? I think I'm doing something wrong. No, I'm not doing anything. I'm doing exactly what I always do. Like the lightest shade. Let's try the darkest one. Okay, this is a bit better. The darkest shade is not a disappointment at all. Let me finish this eye now. Now, it's about to drop it. <laughs> now the metallics. Starting with this metallic. Can you see how shimmery and pigmented this is? Wow. Just place it on my lid. Wow. Wow. This is so my vibe, I swear. And the best part, no fallouts. Incredible. The shimmers, the metallic shade, the shimmer shade, amazing, amazing, amazing. The last shade, the lightest 
metallic shade in the set. Okay, this is wow. This is nice. It's not just pearly white. Looks pearly white, but it is not white. It is like a duo shade. It is green and it is pearly white at the same time. Let me finish this eye first. So, wow, I am super impressed. I don't have a liner from e.l.f. So, let me just do my liner. Eyeliner, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Now, it's time to color correct. So, I'm using this uh, full coverage satin coverage cameo color corrector. So, let's see how this blends. Well, for a color corrector, I learned this pro tip that after blending the color corrector, leave it on for at least 30 seconds so it dries. After that, when you apply concealer on top of it, it will give you a very flawless finish. And trust me, it has worked for me. Okay, so let this dry. Now, what I usually do is I apply the foundation and then I use the concealer on top of the color corrected area so i am using it's a medium coverage satin finish flawless foundation from elf in shade vanilla it has a pump it's it's good pump makes it easier to apply it on the face rather than a tube or a dropper honestly it smells like baby powder I usually use my hands for foundation application. It's easier, more convenient, and I can do it in seconds. It's giving my face a very light coverage, which I like. I look like a ghost. I'm using the same concealer, camel concealer that I had before. Mm, a little hair. Mm, little hair. Now the foundation I know looks very light on me, but I'm going to fix it. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with the finishing powder. Can you see my chin area? I have to say, the concealer and the color corrector, 10 on 10. Now from the same palette, I'm using the darkest shade for my lower lash line. I don't have a black pencil from e.l.f. So I'm using my own kajal. And I didn't find a mascara. So I'm using my own mascara. The one I always use. If you, if you have been following me, you know which mascara this is. Now as a highlighter, I'm using the lightest shade from this Itsy Witsy palette. Now this is a pro tip. If I've learned it, you can learn it too. Just take any bronzer and uh, an angled brush. Can you see the angle on this brush? Now swirl, dab, apply it under your chin, a bit on the face, a little on the forehead. Now take any beauty blender, blend everything. And if you want to do your nose as well, this will warm up the foundation. I have two blush ons. This is actually a multi stick. I didn't order a lipstick, so I'm going to use this as a lipstick. This is a, as a blush on. So let's try the blush on first. This, this blush on has been, this liquid blush on has been viral everywhere and i hope it's actually as good as it say it is i've never tried a liquid blush on before this is a bit light okay it's a bit light i like the subtle finish let's add a bit more i want to build it up a bit so it's good the formula is nice it's giving me a very healthy glow. This is the last thing. But before I add the last thing, let me add highlighter to my face and then I'll add the last thing. 
and highlighter is not from the same brand because I didn't find the highlighter from the same brand on this website. Now the last thing, this is a multi-chrome stick. I'm using this as a lipstick. Let's use it as a lipstick. Uh, okay, the color is cute. The color is cute. It is shimmery. Okay, so I can basically use this as as a blush on and I don't need highlighter. Wow. So my makeup is done. I am ready to go out and I'm going to rate all these products. So before I rate the products, let me tell you where I got them from. I got half of the products from Noon and half of the products from Amazon. This putty primer, it's a 10 on 10. If you have large pores like I do, you better get Cameo concealer, it is good. The color corrective, it's a solid 9.5 out of 10. I've ne I never thought the peach will actually complement my brown skin. The eyeshadow palette, it's really cute. It's really small. The shimmer eyeshadows, the shimmer, the shimmer out eyeshadows are amazing. There was a bit of a fallout, but other than that, it's super awesome. It's a solid 8 out of 10, but for this price. There are better options in the market, especially for this region. Finishing powder. Again, it, it was good. It did. It actually blurred out all the lines while setting everything, the concealer, the foundation in place. It's a solid 8 out of 10, but I have another option. For if you want to know alternatives for these cosmetics, which are readily available in the Gulf market, do write in the comments and I'll share the alternatives with you. And now the satin finish uh, foundation. I like it. It's a sheer coverage. It's not full coverage. I am not a full coverage girl. So it is a solid 9 out of 10 from my side. And I really love it and probably will be using it again and again. Now the cameo blush. Although the color did not suit me. it it It's not my color. The formula is comfortable to wear. It's not sticky. It's not... I thought it was oily but it has actually settled down a bit after applying the powder found a uh, powder blush on it and i like it so it's a solid 8.5 out of 10 this multi chrome stick i like the color plus it has shimmer in it another plus and you can it can be used as sorry e it can be used as a blush on it can be used as a lipstick it can be used an eye as an eyeshadow and definitely in my next video i'm using only this for my entire face so do subscribe to my channel if you want to see me do it and from my side it gets a solid a solid 9.5 out of 10. the brow pencil is good it did a very nice job it gave me a brush like strokes and i really like that and from my side it gets an 8 out of 10. so this was all from my side i hope you like my video do share this video with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye.